What's good with you? This your boy, NATO 100. Man, I just want to come to y'all, you know what I'm saying, to talk to you about, like, this stress period. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, being out here on the road, I mean, it's stressful, so. It's good to handle everything you need to handle and make sure your your house good before you get out here on the road because when you get out here on this road, it's a whole nother lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even be focused on what's going on in the house. You can't be focused on what your girl doing at home. You know, I know certain stuff, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna have to handle because they just life, you know, with your kids and you know, if you're married with your wife. But man, you got to stay focused out here. And in order to be a successful truck driver, you have to be focused. And you can't let the little stuff get in your way. I mean, if you let the little stuff get in your way, then you defeat it. I mean, what the purpose of being out here if you ain't out here to make money? The purpose is to make money. I mean, take care of your family. Provide a better living for you and your kids or just yourself. I mean, some people get in trucking because they see other people doing it. They see what other people got. Oh, he a truck driver. Oh, let me get my CDL. For you, friend, if when you get out here, you gonna see, you gonna be like, God damn, they just giving away license out here. Cause these more, they can't drive. And yeah, that's some real shit. Then not a day go by that I won't see an accident and be like, damn, bro. Ooh, I hope they made it home to their family. Because some of these accidents you see, all you do is shake your head, man. The shit you deal with at the truck stops, even if you can't make it to truck stops, where you trying to park it, what cities you go in, what neighborhoods you got to deliver to, what time of morning, all that plays a factor, traffic. And then if you got a dagging ass girl at home or somebody don't understand what you're doing out here, bro, that shit's that most stress on you. I mean, I'm not going through that. I'm just saying I have. And, and all I'm saying is, bro, get your shit in order, bro. Like, if you talk to somebody and every time you leave, she tell you, baby, come on home. You cut the weed short just to run home to that piece of pussy. And when you know you could have ran another day and ran it up some more, bro, that pussy, bro, if she love you, it gonna still be there. Real talk. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just speaking straight facts. And some of y'all get out here Hell, just to go to different states to see how many women you can pick up. Bruh, that's you, how, how people get robbed. I'm just saying. Man, when you come in this bed, you got to have a plan. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to handle this, I'm going to handle that. I mean, it work out easier for some. Some it take longer, but as long as you're striving to get to where your goal is, bro, keep going. And no matter what you do, keep going. Keep grinding. Because, I mean, I got two businesses and I'm still out here on the truck grind, real talk. 
But that's something I don't need to talk about. Because, you know, some people use platform to motivate. You know, some use platform to inspire. Some use platform to show off. And then you got the one that when you trying to motivate, ah, he just trying to show off. Man, bro, check this out. If you spend an half as much time and you think you put something into something you like doing, you won't even be worried about what I'm doing over here. Cause I guarantee I can care less about what somebody else doing. See, I'm trying to get my household in order. I'm trying to make sure my kids is straight. You know what I'm, I'm trying to make sure everything good on my end. I'm trying to make sure my health in order. Because being out here in the truck, man, you pick up bad habits, real bad habits. Going to fast food, restaurants, stopping to eat the truck hot dogs, and the Bojangles, the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, the whatever, whatever else these truck stops have, bro. I'm not eating, they're not that truck stop. Now I used to, and I had got big as a house. I got sick. The ambulance had to come and get me off the side of the road one time. I done been there. And I also had close friends they help good and you get a call like man they found such and such in the truck passed away he be like no like that's what I'm saying like make sure you, somebody know where you at when you going and when you stopping when you going to sleep make sure somebody know where your last known location is and when you get out here in these cities and, and want to venture around and do stuff, but make sure you do it in a safe way. Make sure you watch your back. You know, make sure you, if you have friends or something, make sure they trustworthy because right now, but it's like cut no season. Even your best friend will back though you for a little change. It's sad, but that's just the way life is right now. You know, bro, wear your mask, be, be because, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna go tell you to get to, get to jail. I ain't getting to jail, you know what? I, I stick to what works for me. And what works for me is my, I love my vitamins. I'm all natural and I don't take nothing over the counter. And, and you know, in another story, I'll tell you why. You know, but right now it ain't the time, but I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm, and I'm gonna let you know, man, like, the reason why, I prefer all natural medicines, herbs and spices than over the counter. So, man, just be prepared, just be prepared in your mind when you come out here. I mean, just don't get out here cause you see money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all money ain't good money no matter where you get it from. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's dope games, scamming, trapping, you know what I'm saying? Truck driving, business. I mean, some stuff just ain't good to deal with. Man, think about what you love. Think about your stress. Think about your health. You know, some people rather work for a company where they hate to go in into every day just because what they pay, bruh. Do what you love. Don't do what you got to do. And, and that's my message for the day. Your boy NATO 100, follow me. And I'm gonna start dropping these gym like every day, real talk.
Because there's a lot of people out here that need it, man. Love y'all.